my name is Adrenaline and today I'm going to talk about cholinergic drugs. <clears throat> so what is cholinergic? Choline in cholinergic refers to acetylcholine which is the neurotransmitter of cholinergic neurons present in the parasympathetic nervous system. Acetylcholine is also the neurotransmitter for postganglionic nerves in the sympathetic nervous system. To make it easier for you to understand the effects of cholinergic drugs, let's look into the cholinergic neurotransmission first. which are muscarinic, muscarinic receptor and nicotinic receptor. For muscarinic receptor, they are named after their agonist muscarine. They are G-protein coupled receptors and are divided into five. The M1 is found in the stomach, M2 is found in the heart, and M3 is found in the sweat glands and tear ducts. For nicotinic receptors, they are named after their agonist nicotine and they are ligand-gated ion channels. Cholinergic drugs can be divided into three. Direct acting, indirect acting reversible and indirect acting irreversible. For direct acting, they mimic the effects of acetylcholine by binding to muscarinic or nicotinic receptors. They are divided into choline esters and alkaloids. First thing we'll discuss is acetylcholine. Acetylcholine are administered through the intravenous bolus. The general effects are usually the lowering of heart rate, lowering of blood pressure, and they also increase the activity in the GI tract. Next is pilocarpine. Pilocarpine are usually introduced topically through eye drops. They are used to treat glaucoma. For carbocol, carbocol has both muscarinic and nicotinic effects. They are used mainly in ophthalmology for eye surgery because they cause rapid meiosis. They decrease the inter, they decrease the IOP by opening drainage angle of the anterior chamber of the eye. Lastly, be bethanicol or bethanicol chloride. They selectively stimulate the urinary and gastrointestinal tract. They are used to treat urinary retention. An easier method to remember is BBB. <laughs> Botanical affects bladder and bowel. So for indirect acting agonists, they inhibit the activity of acetylcholinesterase, which is the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. The increase of acetylcholine concentration in the synaptic cleft will stimulate the cholinoreceptors to evoke increased responses. Indirect acting agonists are divided into reversible and irreversible. Okay. Under reversible indirect agonists, they are divided into quaternary alcohol and carbamate esters. Quaternary alcohol binds to the active site of acetylcholinesterase and prevents access to acetylcholine. For example, adrophonium. Carbamate esters also blocks active site of cholinesterase. For example, neostigmine and physostigmine. Adrophenium is mainly used in diagnosis of myasthenia gravis because they will reduce the muscle weakness by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase. 
Physostigmin is a co covalent inhibitor of acetylcholinesterase. Neostigmin has a similar structure to physostigmin but is a quaternary amine. For irreversible indirect agonists, they are usually organophosphates, for example, parathion and malathion. They are irreversible because they act by covalently phosphorylating the hydroxyl group of serine on cholinesterase, rendering it useless. These are the side effects of cholinergic drugs. Lastly, these are the location summary for cholinergic drugs. Thank you for watching. See you next time.